D-Day fight, goodness, that, that was a rough one. Do you remember getting shot at? Huh? Do you remember getting shot at? <laughs> yeah, once or twice. You ain't a kidding. But, uh, yeah. I, I was just lucky, yeah. A lot of boys lost their lives there, too. You was a tough guy. No, I was a scared guy. So that's what it was. I wasn't no real brave man. I was just lucky. There was a funny kind of feeling. You open up the front of a ship and people were shooting at you when you hit the line, you know. Every day I looked to die. And, and most of the people talking out there wasn't scared. They were scared, you know. They were talking about it after a while. I wasn't scared, you know. Chest out, I wasn't scared. They, they were all scared. I had just finished basic training, Army basic training as an infantry, and I didn't want the Navy. The guy said, why not? I said, well, I'm a Midwesterner. I have, I've never seen the ocean, <laughs> you know, just out of high school. And I said, besides that, if I get shot, I don't want to drown too. So he gave me the Army. <laughs> We're the lucky ones, because we got to live and raise a family and grandchildren. And so I was a young man, worked on a railroad, and I, I knew that uh, when my time come that I would have to go to the war, which I was proud to go and serve my country. I was in Patton's Army sometimes, and I was in Bradley's Army most of time. And as you know, uh, Patton had a name, Bud and Guts. Uh, our blood to his guts would win the war. I was like a lot of other young men, I was scared. <laughs> I was scared in a way, but uh, I didn't let it uh, interfere with me doing my, my job, because that's what I was sent there for. Uh, trying to serve my country, my friends, and my family. You can get so scared sometimes your teeth rattle. I think mine did a little rattling. <laughs> so. It's an experience I'll never forget. I wouldn't give a dime to go back to it, but it wouldn't take a million dollars for the experience. I was proud to be a part of it. If it hadn't been for, for the soldiers, young men that went over there and fought that war, where would we have been today? We'd have been in trouble too.